little more violent than I was expecting it to be. <laughs> Today I want to talk about a little issue that I've been having in the past six months or so, and that is urinary tract infection. Um, for the first two years of my paralysis, I didn't really have any UTIs. I think I had one as I was leaving ICU going to Shepherd Center. That's because I had a Foley catheter in and it's pretty much impossible to not get a UTI with a Foley catheter. Other than that, I've been pretty good. But in the past six months, I've pretty much had a UTI constantly. And I'm not sure why it keeps happening because I am very clean and very hygienic with the way that I, you know, catheter and things like that. I guess, you know, no matter what, if you're going to intermittent catheter, there's going to be a chance for bacteria to get in there. It's been a, a, a bit of a pain because with a UTI, my bladder spasms are a lot more often and my bladder just doesn't want to hold the liquid. Um, I'm constantly having to go to the bathroom. I'm constantly leaking on myself. Pretty much have to wear a leg bag or in a condom catheter all the time in order to keep from, you know, peeing on myself. So I've gone to the doctor several times, just my regular doctor, and gotten antibiotics, several different types of antibiotics. Uh, one of my UTIs actually turned into a kidney infection, and it caused a lot of back pain, and it just wasn't fun. So that time I actually went to the emergency room, which is the hospital, so that I could get proper analysis quickly and get started on antibiotics through an IV it's because it would just help me get a jump on it. I just finished up a round of antibiotics for my most recent UTI probably three or four days ago and everything seems to be going okay now. So this most recent time I went to my actual urologist in order to get checked out just because I wanted to you know speak to somebody who is the most experienced with the urinary tract and that would be a urologist. Um, not to mention it was time for me to go and update my prescription for my catheters and trimix, things like that. Um, your urologist is the person that does all that kind of stuff. Um, but this past time they prescribed me this stuff called methenamine. Methenamine. What it's supposed to do is build up a certain amount of formaldehyde in my bladder so that the bacteria cannot grow. Um, and I have no experience with this and I don't know anybody that takes methenamine. Um, so if you take methenamine or have any experience with this, um, definitely comment and let me know how it works for you. That would be very helpful. And I'm going to start taking it uh, today, actually. And if I have any side effects or anything like that, I'll definitely let you guys know. Uh, but it's very important to you know get these urinary tracts under control for me. I can't stand it. I know it's a very common issue among a lot of people with paralysis, and it's unfortunate. There's a bunch of ways that you can prevent a UTI, but unfortunately, no matter how clean you are, no matter what you do, the odds of you getting one are still pretty high when you have to catheter. So, you can do things like you know, wash your hands every time you catheter, make sure you don't touch your catheters, drink lots of water, stay hydrated, and possibly even get on some kind of medication such as this in order to prevent the growth of bacteria in your bladder. 